Okay. Premier. Yes. Caucus room last February 15th. You're asked about the Premier, the, the then Premier's repeated suggestions that your plan was to have taxpayers subsidize political parties. Your answer, it's always alternate facts with the Premier. In one of her distortions last week, she said my preference was for taxpayers to pay for political parties. That is just not the case. Can you explain the flip-flop? We came into the election campaign singularly focused on getting big money out of politics, banning, banning union and corporate donations, reducing the amount individuals can contribute, making sure that there could be no more fundraisers in Calgary, Toronto, or anywhere else in North America, making sure that British Columbians owned their political process. Upon forming a government, a, admittedly a minority government, we did a review of other jurisdictions in Canada. We rejected pure public financing as is done in Ontario, as is done in Quebec, and instead put in place a transition fund that will disappear at the end of this parliament. Wouldn't it have been better to tell taxpayers what you had in mind before the election when you were busy saying wasn't true that that was where you were headed? What I had in mind before the election, as was tabled uh, six times in the legislature, was a, a, a bill, as we've done today, or yesterday rather, that would ban union and corporate donations, get big money out of our politics. That's what the public was focused on, that's what we were focused on. We did a review upon forming government of other jurisdictions in Canada. We rejected pure public financing. We rejected that. And instead, we put in place a transition fund that will decline year over year and will no longer exist at the end of this parliament. I believe the public is going to be focused instead on the importance of getting big money out, 65 odd million dollars that was distorting our politics. That's not going to happen. I think that's good public policy. But can you 